We're here at O'Carroll and Janelle Restaurant in Old Forge of Pizza Capital World, the John and Dola Show. We're talking Mid Valley soccer, and Joe Bohr is with us, the head coach. And uh, Joe, let's talk about your excitement for the season. Uh, really excited about this upcoming season. Uh, last year was my first year as the Girls Marcy head coach. Um, we had the opportunity to uh, secure our first two wins in uh, four years, and uh, it, it was a real positive. Uh, environment with after that with the girls and uh with the girls returning it you know it helps uh build a good atmosphere and uh we we're returning about eight uh players from last year and uh get some new recruits out uh through the school and uh really looking forward uh with the new realignment in the division i think uh, we have a good chance to be very competitive you have a senior coming up here uh emily morano uh, you know a little bit about her so uh, let's first talk about the excitement you have for her on the soccer field, the type of athlete that she is, and then we could get into probably some of the other sports she does as well. <laughs> uh, Emily, uh, she's just a unique athlete, and uh, she, she's just that extra special uh, talent. Um, she brings uh, high intensity uh, to uh, the soccer field. Um, she, she's uh, all over. Uh, when I, you know, I'm looking on the field, uh, you can see her uh, trying running for from one end to score a goal. And then next thing you know, uh, she's back uh, defending uh, our own goal. So uh, she, she's all over the place uh, trying and uh, coaching the girls on the field, uh, telling them where they need to be, helping them out as well. And uh, she, she does a great job for us. Let's talk about that leadership ability that she has and how important of a role that will be. Again, now your second year. And, and you know, obviously you're getting your feet a little bit more wet, but having a, a savvy player like her to help, you know, help these kids in a positive direction. Uh, absolutely. Uh, she, uh, she, she took on, even though she wasn't a captain, she uh, took on a leadership uh, role last year, you know, on the field and uh, helping uh, a couple of the girls that it was the first time they were on the soccer field and uh, being a good influence for them. And uh, now as a senior, uh, we, we graduated uh, five girls and uh, a couple, uh, you know, in uh, key positions. So uh, she's definitely uh, one of the seniors that we are going to depend highly on uh, for this year. You're a busy guy. You also coach from softball at Mid Valley, and uh, just so happens Emily yeah. plays that sport as well. So talk about uh, what she was doing during softball season and how easy she is to coach in that sport as well, and you know what you see in similarities between both sports. Um, Emily's uh, the type of uh, student athlete. Uh, she excels uh, in the classroom, but uh, she also puts in that extra effort uh, on the field as well. Uh, she's the one that uh, uh, will text you or call you up asking uh, to come up on a day off to get extra BP in. Um, she she's, uh, wants uh, you know that extra fielding. Uh, she just wants to better herself, uh, you know, in whatever sport she's doing. Basketball player as well, and uh, you and I were talking uh, before before the interview, saying uh, you know a rare three-sport all-star yes uh and i actually get the opportunity uh i uh, i announce uh the basketball games the home basketball game so i get a front row seat uh watching her there as well and uh seeing uh that intensity on the court and uh you know she, she's always a spark plug uh for the basketball team as well talk about uh, what you see I mean, again it's hard to get a, a young lady or a, or a guy at this point to play three sports but um, is she just bring it no matter what the sport is, whether it's a summer league and there's a basketball game, then she has to go play softball somewhere or come to a, a soccer workout or something. Does she bring it every time? She, she, she absolutely does. Um, I, I know, uh, you know, as, as uh, you know, an assistant varsity uh, softball coach as well, uh, during the soccer season, uh, she's, she's on the weekends playing softball games, you know, staying fresh with that, you know, uh, getting BP in with that and, you know, uh, I'm absolutely okay with uh, her doing uh, multiple sports and, uh, you know, getting that extra practice in where she is as long as she, uh, you know, it, you know, her first priority is the season, sports season that she's in. With soccer this fall, talk about some other athletes that you hope will fill in around Emily and, and have a positive season at Mid-Valley. A um, uh, couple other seniors, uh, Gabby Sarah, um, she, uh, she's back. Uh, she's a four-year player for us. And uh, we had her in a couple different spots uh, last year, uh, playing some midfield, playing uh, forward. Uh, she played some goal for us. So uh, she's, she's a versatile athlete that uh, we expect uh, to fill in, uh, you know, where she's needed. 
Um, Sam Shalesky uh, is another senior that came out last year and uh, was her first year playing. She never stopped, uh, stepped onto a soccer field uh, in her life. And uh, she actually uh, was uh, one of our best defenders and uh, somebody that uh, we're going to rely on to protect the goal. And uh, uh, we have uh, two, uh, two sophomores, uh, Ava Perrins and uh, Kira Strachowski, uh, that uh, we're, we're, we have uh, high expectations for that uh, they're going to uh, be key uh, players uh, defensively and offensively for us. Well, Joe, great to uh, talk to you and get ready for the fall season and, and soccer, and uh, we look forward to talking to Emily as well. Thank you very much. Emily Morano joins us from Mid Valley as we talk about the soccer program and getting ready for the fall. And, uh, Emily, let's talk about where you're at in the summer. Uh, what are you concentrating on now? You play basketball, you play softball, you play soccer. So are you trying to put a lot of your energy into soccer right now? Um, soccer is just starting up, and we're mid basketball off season, so a lot of work's going into that. I do two days a week for basketball, two, two days a week for softball, and for soccer. So I try to manage it all into, into one week. Let's talk about you on the soccer field, what position you play and, and what kind of energy you're going to bring to this team. I play uh, forward, so I'm usually running around all over. Um, my coach kind of lets me do whatever I want, I usually go back on defense if they need help or go up and play on offense. Wherever I'm needed, I seem to be. Let's talk about your relationship with the coach. You know him from softball as an assistant coach. You see him now with soccer last year and now this year. So talk about having a positive relationship, knowing what he expects, and you just going out and trying to deliver. We have a good relationship. I talk, about, I talk to him about everything. Um, if I have a question, I usually go to him. Whatever he asks of me, whatever he asks of me, I usually get done. Um, I try to put my best foot forward and do what he wants me to do. Let's talk about uh, basketball season. Uh, you're looking forward to that, I'm sure, as well. And what you do with Coach uh, Buccarelli and, and being with the girls and a pretty good team uh, at Mid Valley the last couple of years. Yeah, Coach Buccarelli seems like he's going to depend on me a lot this year. He's asking a lot of me, trying out different new things, new ways to shoot. So hopefully I can just get it all together and do what he wants. More success over in softball. Uh, always seems to be a positive year at Mid Valley. So talk about the, the experience you had and what you look forward to one more time your senior year. Yeah, softball is a really fun atmosphere. It's always positive. Everybody's always happy. There's never, there's never anybody getting down on each other. And if there is, somebody's always there to pick you up. It's just a very positive atmosphere because winning, winning is a very happy thing, and we don't do losing too much. So, you're winning in the classroom. We got about a, a 3.7 grade point average. Talk about your dedication as a student. Um, I'll usually put in maybe an hour a day studying extra. Usually, I'll stay after for basketball, softball, soccer, and practice extra. But I always find time to study. Let's talk about the, a favorite subject or an area you're thinking about. It's your senior year, so you've got to already start thinking about the college track. So tell us about what you like in high school and how that's going to kind of marry into what you'll do in college. I like chemistry a lot, so I decided to go into pharmacy for when I go into college. So I'm taking advanced chemistry my senior year, and hopefully that works out for me. And uh, basketball is the sport you're thinking right now for college, possibly, if you're going to play a college sport. and That'll be pretty challenging with a, a pharmacy major. Um, but uh, does it matter where you go, far away, close to home, just got to be the right fit? Um, I want to go far away, not too far, maybe an hour at the most, but I don't want to stay too close to home. I just want to get a new, a new atmosphere, a new vibe. Well, let's talk a little bit about your family. Uh, you got a couple younger siblings, I'm sure, that look up to you, so tell us a little bit about each of them. Yeah, I have a brother, Alex, he's 12 years old, and I have a little sister, Marley, she's 8. They look up to me a lot. My parents will tell me that they're always watching me outside shooting, seeing what I'm doing to get better and they just seem to look up to me and like what I do. And some of those role models for you, the people that you look up to that have inspired you to do all the successful things you've accomplished so far at Mid Valley? I would say my dad. My dad really pushes me to be the best athlete I can and the best student athlete. Um, he's always telling me to go shoot extra, go to the gym, go work out, and he really pushes me to be the best person that I can be. As far as uh, getting back to that soccer field, the players around you this year, do you feel like the girls are working hard to try to have more success than you did last year? And if, if so, who are some of those girls on the team that you think will uh, see some success? Yes, I say at practice, everybody seems to work, be working very hard. Everybody seems to be trying their best. Um, Gabby Sarah is putting in a lot of work. Ava Perrin, Kira Strachowski, and Sam Schleski seem to be our core group that we're going to turn to when things go wrong. Do you think you have a little bit more of an offensive team, defensive team, or you just have some athletes and hopefully things work out? I say we have some athletes. Um, I think we're going to be a very strong defensive team this year. We are going to be a very aggressive team, and we are not going to back down.
All right, Emily, well, sounds like you got a pretty bright future ahead of you. We wish you the best of luck and great to meet you. Thank you.